invite people to get uncomfortable because I do like to talk about the race issue. Because a lot of y'all try to act like that shit ain't relevant no more. Like, is race still relevant in America? Look at some of the white people. Whatever do you mean? <laughs> Racism will always be relevant in America for two reasons. One, it's just too much bad history. And you can't erase that much bad history. And two, I just think it's natural for everybody to be a little bit racist. I don't fuck what color you are, what your gender is, how old you are. We are all a little bit racist. For white people, y'all are the first ones to denounce each other. I'm not racist. I'm incapable of being racist. My best friend is black. He's also my chauffeur, but he's my best friend. Everybody in this room, everybody in this country is a little racist. You might not be smack a taco out of Mexican hand racist, but we are all... Fuck y'all, that is way funnier than that. I don't know why y'all scared to laugh. Y'all act like 300 Mexicans gonna pop out of nowhere. Like, what the fuck, fuck? I'll make a special sour cream for you, is it? It's fucking hilarious. And I live in LA, I love the Mexicans, I do. Because of Mexicans, my lawn looks fabulous. I got a little bit of money, I live in a white neighborhood. They be out there cutting my grass and shit, it be hot as a motherfucker outside. I be standing up from the house through the blinds. <laughs> Like, mm, mm, mm. 20 minutes later, they knock on the door and ask me shit. Senor, it's hot outside. They all sound like Speedy Gonzalez. It's hot outside. Me and my compadres was wondering, can we have some apple? I'm like, nope, but I can give you some advice. Hum your way through it, motherfucker. That's how we got back. Bam. Fuck that. You got to earn your turn. You can't just hop over a fence and expect the same rights. You got to earn your turn. Look at some of the white people. Oh my God, he said it. Thank you. I've been feeling this, black man. Thank you. And I know that's a big deal in this country. Illegal immigration. White people, you guys get bent out of shape over this shit. I hear you complain. Fucking Mexicans. They're coming here taking their jobs. Some of them have criminal records. We're not safe. We don't know who's among us. Well, let me remind all the white people why you stay to being mad at the Mexicans. Technically, you guys were the first illegal immigrants. But when you came to this country, it belonged to the Indians, and we know how that shit turned out. Look how quiet they got. Did you feel the touch at all? One mile. Stay to the left, the U.S. 101 North Civic Center, Bay Bridge. Listen, I don't give a fuck if you come to this country legally or illegally, because at the end of the day, we're all foreigners to some extent. My only issue is if you're going to come to this country, I got one rule. Learn how to speak fucking English, please. You've got to learn the fucking language. There is nothing more frustrating than me being a Popeye's chicken, arguing with Jorge about what the fuck I ordered, and I'm trying to catch the second half of the game. I ain't got time for this shit. You ever talk to somebody that don't know how to speak English? They always got a look and a sound coming out of their face, like they in the middle of taking a shit. It's hilarious. Like, excuse me, you know what time it is? <laughs> I don't speak no problem. I don't. <laughs> Stay to the left, the U.S. 101 North. Civic Center, Bay Bridge. Basketball, and I'm arguing with this motherfucker about my order. He didn't understand me. I didn't understand him. Shit was terrible. I was like, dog, let me get a two piece chicken dinner. He tried to repeat the shit back to me. <laughs> you want a two piece yiki? Do you want the spicy or the mayo? I said, what? He said, the spicy or the mayo? I said, what nigga you know put mayonnaise on chicken? Why would I put mayonnaise? On chicken. I'm a hot sauce nigga. My daddy was a hot sauce nigga. He said, no, the mild for the flavor. I said, what the fuck is flavor? He kept looking at the menu like it was family feud and the answer was gonna pop up on the board. I gotta tell you the doobie chicken with the spicy or the mild, so you better you better get it for you. In a quarter of a mile. Exit to exit 432. Cesar Chavez Street, Petrero Avenue. He said, you want it busy? I said, yes, motherfucker, I'm busy. I don't have time for this shit. I'm trying to catch the game. Cody's on, nigga, come on. You say no, it's Exit busy. right to exit 432, Cesar Chavez Street, Petrero Avenue. I said, it's busy. He said, CC was gonna tell you with the doobie jiggy, which is spicy with him out. In 800 feet, stay to the left to Petrero Avenue. Then stay to the left. He said, let me get a two-piece chicken spicy with a biscuit. He said, now you have to pickle your sides. I said, I'm not playing with my penis and Popeyes. I'm not doing that. Why would I pull my dick out and jack off near the crunchy? I'm not doing it. He said, no, you get two side order. I said, what kind of side you got? He said, we have a day. We have a day. Stay to the left. We have a day. 
then stay to the left to Potrero Avenue. Well, how about the Yash Potato? I said, fuck it, let me go with the Yash Potato. Stay to the left, then continue straight to Potrero Avenue. Well, how about the... Continue straight to Potrero Avenue. I don't want no soda, but I'm curious about your uses. The fuck is juice? I have the apple use, hot in use, grapefruit use. Listen, the point is we have to demand more from our illegals. I'm Mary Spears and I approve this message. We have to demand more, it's unacceptable. 